Peace and blessings to you wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Javez Han. Welcome to the channel. And this evening, I just wanted to pour some of my uh, thoughts out and share a few uh, things with you. So here's a question, or here's a few questions. How many of you out there sometimes communicate with others and you just feel that the other person is not listening? Or you ask something, so here's an example, you go, how are you, are you all right? So you ask the question and then you give the answer as well. Or you say, how are you, are you okay? And <laughs> you ask the question, you give the answer, you do not listen to the other person and you just start pour, pouring out. Okay, and you blast the other person with information. So how many of you out there feel that people are not listening to what you are saying? And you can answer that question. So here's a few more questions. When you walk into the room, do the lights come on? Or do they go off? Or when somebody else walks into the room, do your lights go off? Just hold those, hold those thoughts. So look, we were asking some questions and my friend Mehmet Sahin, we got into a discussion about these sort of things. Now, here's a, a little bit of my background. So I'm a certified trainer of Neuro Linguistic Program. I created Hypno Driving in the United Kingdom. Um, I'm a hypnotherapy pr practitioner as well. Um, I'm a certified trainer of flash reading. Sounds really posh this, doesn't it, yeah? Okay, and I'm one of the top driving instructors in the UK by qualification and fall into the top 5%. I'm a certified co coach. Shall I go on? No, sounds, re sounds really boring. But look, these are some of the things that I have done um, in order to uh, progress my career and progress my professional and, and my so social life. All right. Are you listening or are you not listening? Abri Kanabri, right? Okay. It happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So look, here's here's the thing, right? Okay. And this is no particular no particular order, but according to the communication model of neuro linguistic program, there's continuously about twenty. Uh, a million bits of information that are traveling around everywhere okay and they're coming into our system now i'm attempting to keep this very 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 simple now our uh, senses so our uh our eye, you know i can't even say this right <laughs> so, <laughs> see what i mean about communication so uh, our five five uh sen look, i forgot where i was i'm not i'm, I'm not mad <laughs> so look back to information look um, so whether it's our taste, it's our smells, it's our uh, feelings, it's our vision, or it's our uh, our hearing, information is consistently uh, traveling towards us. And without getting too too technical, okay, the information comes into our minds. Okay, we delete that information, we distort that information, and we generalize uh, that particular information different process different day different different time we shall talk about it and then we've got different uh, filters in our minds of our values our beliefs and, and and so many others as well but look when this information comes from society people around us things that we hear things that we see things that we read that then gives us an, what we call an internal representation okay different explanation in detail diff different day different different time when we get an inter internal uh, uh, representation of something that has a knock-on effect upon um, how we feel our our uh, uh, physiology and, uh, and our state so if you think of something great think of something uh, good think of the things that you uh, enjoy doing you feel great with that and when you feel great with that you, the behavior that follows uh, that can often be positive and can be very very powerful if we're in a situation where there's sadness or uh, something that we don't feel good about that has a knock-on effect upon our physiology and our state and our behavior that, that follows then you know could be uh, uh, not not as good now 
from from my 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 uh, uh, family backgrounds, one of the things that I have is I have a lot of respect, okay, for elderly elderly people uh, for for a fa for a thousand reasons, but in certain contexts, in certain be behaviors, um, in certain countries, in cer certain places, sometimes they just have respect for the uh, respect for the elders for having respect for the elders because of their their age, um, and really in terms of uh, academic. Um, uh, academic knowledge or or general knowledge or uh, actual knowledge of things that are going on current currently they're probably not the best people to uh, uh, speak to however in those contexts if you uh, say something or you're challenged then it could put you into uh, 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 a lot of, a, a lot of trouble I was saying push the regularly you know Musharandi right well great you know mashallah uh, for a million reasons as well but if you just go and ask a, an elderly person of how do I um, change the workings of the latest you know Windows 10 system they're probably not the best people to to ask because they've got little, little uh, knowledge of that it's going to be your, your 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 latest computer computer technicians anyway i don't know how i got into all of this right okay so let, let's go back to what we we're saying about in terms of people and people do not often listen or they will answer something in accordance with what they thought you said than what you actually said so here's a here's a, here's a great example so i asked a te teacher recently i said will you just tell me about communication and language okay and hypnotic language and he said, "Oh yeah, um, yeah, uh, hypnotic language. That that means it's uh, 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 hypnother is hypnotherapy, um, and people sometimes um, uh, use that to confuse confuse." And I thought, "That's not hypnotic. Like that's not in accordance with what I know and I'm aware of, and I wanted an increase in knowledge. That's not that's not what it is." So he started to answer with what he thought that I actually asked him. Here's another example, Eid recently. Uh, one of my friends uh, asked me, how was Eid? And I said, you know, it was a little bit somber and little, it was a little bit sad this year. Um, something like, I, I can't remember a, a, ever experiencing on, on Eid. And he went, oh, that's all right then, isn't it? Uh huh? You just asked me how it was and I, I wanted some comfort from, from your words. Okay, and you go, oh yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Because he, he thinks that what I said was, you know, Eid was great, Eid was happy, I was happy on Eid, you know, I had, I had a great time. And that's not what I said. So he's not listening to what it is that I'm actually saying, saying to him. Because conversation <laughs> has to go or follow a certain pattern of someone speaks and the other one listens. The other one listens and the other one speaks. Now that's two-way communication. So if you take responsibility for your communication, then you're likely to get 100% of the results that you want. So Roger Schofield said to me many moons ago, he said, Javez, say what you mean, lad, and mean what you say. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And I thought, wow. I didn't really understand it at that point. Um, but after a little while, as an adult, I started to absorb the information. And I thought, right, oh, wow. So recently, uh, we were in, in the vehicle and I said to my wife, I said, do me a favor, just pass me that from there, please. And she paused for a moment and she looked at me and pass you um, what from where? And I thought to myself, my God, look at my communication. <laughs> I said to her, will you just pass me the wallet, please? It's in the glove compartment. And she passed me the wallet from the glove compartment because I took a hundred percent responsibility for my communication so look we are not our always our behaviors i'll say that again we're not always our uh, behaviors we can be better than our behaviors and we can learn new behaviors by learning new skills and picking up new knowledge and starting to understand these things and go out there in, into the world and learn from great teachers about these things in order that we can take responsibility for ourselves. And when we take responsibility for our communication, we can impact and we can make a lot of social impact and we can 
start to make changes for ourselves, for our families, for our friends, and all those around us and people will also say, look, you are super califragilistic expialidocious. So work that out. Wherever you are, hope you've enjoyed my little chat. If you like the, the video, please share, please subscribe, please like. Okay, help me grow and we'll grow, we'll grow together. Have a wonderful, blessed day.